It's common that when you feel anxiety, you have uncomfortable sensations in your body, like an upset stomach, tight muscles, cold or sweaty palms, uh, maybe a headache or like fast breathing or rapid heart rate. And our, our natural tendency is to try to make these feelings go away, to run from our body's messages, to distract ourselves, to stay busy, to avoid these feelings in any way we can, or try to force them to change. And while this can work in the short term, or it might feel less uncomfortable in the short term, it actually perpetuates the cycle. It trains your body to be more keyed up, to be more avoidant and essentially afraid of itself, in addition to whatever outside thing you were worried about. So what can you do instead? In this video, you'll learn what to do with anxious sensations in your body. Okay, so your tendency when you feel your stomach getting upset or when you feel your heart beating fast, when you feel these anxious sensations is to escape, to perpetuate the anxiety cycle by avoiding your body's own messages and sensations. But the more we struggle against our sensations, the more intense they usually feel. That's because we're essentially telling our brain that these sensations are dangerous, that this feeling is going to harm us. Now that's not working, right? And if we look at the anxiety cycle, we have this stimulus, like maybe an anxious sensation, a feeling in our body. We interpret that as being bad or dangerous, and that makes us more anxious. And the more we avoid it, the more we send a message to our brain to reinforce that anxiety. So we're gonna learn what to do instead. Let's slow down and let's do the opposite. So we're gonna lean in to our body's sensations. We're gonna sit with it, get curious. We're gonna soften into it. We're gonna practice willingness. And for that, I use the acronym PEACE. Let's get present, let's explore, accept, get curious, and expand. So, if you notice an area of your body that's claiming your attention, you can gently place a hand on that area and rest for a minute or two. Now we're gonna do this together in a moment, uh, but it's important to understand our intention with this technique. We aren't trying to change the sensation. We aren't trying to fix tension or make a feeling go away. We're simply making gentle contact with that body part and offering it our support and our undivided attention. We treat these areas of discomfort as we would a cherished friend. We lean in, we go slow, we listen to them, and we connect without an agenda. And as we bring our presence or our attention to that area and we sit with it, we allow it to be there and we rest into it. We relax into it. So go ahead and pick an area of your body. I'm gonna use my shoulders because they're often tight. And just place your hand gently on that area. Um, sometimes in a session, I also invite my clients to gain a little bit more awareness by like picking a gentle object, a heavy object, and, and like resting it on that body part to just bring awareness to that area. This is a stone um, from the desert that I really like. So I'm gonna go, I'm just gonna use my hands and I'm gonna just rest them gently on my shoulders. Now I'm not massaging my shoulders. I'm not squeezing them. I'm not trying to force them to relax just giving them some attention and I'm just noticing, hey shoulders, you seem a little bit tense, how you doing? Just checking in with them. I'm just gonna notice what they feel like. Remind yourself, I can handle feeling this feeling. Uh, you can say, oh, I, I noticed that tension or this feels uncomfortable, but I can feel this feeling and be okay. Now, if you were doing this with your stomach, let's say your stomach was having a little bit of butterflies in your stomach, you could say, oh, hi there, butterflies. I notice you, I hear you, I'm listening to you. I can handle this feeling, I can make space for this feeling and I can be okay. Now for me, putting my hands up on my shoulders makes my shoulders a little bit tight. 
So I'm just gonna squeeze them one more time and then I'm just gonna create some awareness around them without touching them. You can continue to touch the area of your body that feels a little bit uncomfortable or tight. And just imagine these sensations of tightness or tension or whatever. Imagine these sensations are your friends. They're coming to you with a difficult message. Just visualize yourself listening to their story with compassion. You aren't judging what they're saying. You aren't judging them. You're just listening with compassion. And now send some love to your body. Thank you for trying to keep me safe. I appreciate you. Imagine this area of your body is like a small child. It's like out of breath after running in to give you a message. Give that area of your body a mental hug. Listen to what it has to say. You are confident in your ability to hear them. You are warm and kind. Imagine yourself responding with gentleness and kindness. Now you don't have to already be open and kind. You can visualize yourself being compassionate and kind. Just imagine yourself embodying these characteristics um, and, and create a soft facial expression to match this kindness. And again, don't worry if you don't know how to do this yet. We don't learn or develop these skills overnight. We're going to develop them through practice. So you can learn to listen to your body with compassion and with warmth and with openness and wisdom. Uh, notice how as you make space for these sensations, your capacity to feel them increases. Imagine it's like a jar. Perhaps you felt like that jar was overflowing with emotion, but now the jar itself is expanding and you have space for that feeling. You can be curious and expand your awareness and also notice the other areas of your body that are perhaps calm or warm or soft. You can handle feeling your feelings. They are just messengers. Your body is your friend and you can listen to it. You got this.